All right, welcome back to Overwatch. We are ready for battle. We are defending the map watch that we point. just played. Okay, so we already know that watch point. Gibraltar. Uh, Gibraltar is. Um, thank you for saying that word. Um, it's a word I've heard but I've never seen written. <laughs> uh, and I was like Gibraltar. Okay. Gibraltar. What's going on? <laughs> yeah. Ger Gibraltar. I don't. Know. Yeah. Um, so you know very quickly when you've jumped in where you're going. Yeah. Well, usually if you stay in, like, the same party, if you don't just, like, exit out and join a different game, um, the game usually switches you between, like, offense and defense on, like, you know, payload or take objective A and B type map versus, you know, like, the King of the Hill map where it doesn't really matter because, you know, you're both going after the objective here. So I tweeted out earlier that I have been uh, flipping Steam cards, uh, and I'm I'm Steam trading cards for the games. Um, I'll just let everyone know there's a program. It's called Idol Master. Um, not to be confused with Idol Master like IDOL. No, no, there's not the IDOL Master. Uh, it's probably an iOS app that you can. I think. Um, I need to test it with the Apple TV. Yeah. I think we can do a night of playing iOS idol games. Oh, thank God. Um, I, I don't know the name of it because it's Japanese. So I, I, I don't care. I, I woke up like, one morning and like I, op I grabbed the iPhone because it takes me about 30 minutes or 45 minutes to get out of bed now with the you know iPads and iPhones right there. Yeah. You grab it and then like the app store is like, here's this idol game, highly recommend it's all Japanese. Free play, sure, whatever, put it on. Um, I've, I've played a little bit of Love Live. Um, yeah. Uh, and Chaos it, usually I play a, um, for a bit, and then if they seem decent, I, I show them to my daughter, you know, and, hey, you may like this one, you know, this seems yeah. decent. Because um, there's really junk ones out there, too. Sure. But I have never played one that is so on the nose of, like, what what's the term for what's what's the negative connotation term for the guy playing idle games? Like there's gotta be a name for it. Like this is not weeb. This is beyond that. This is uh, like into the date with the waifu you know, dinner I, with waifu I, level. No, I th I think that I think that does fall under but weeb is a broader category. Yeah, there's weeb other is, weeaboo, like, yeah. There's is, a specific classification. There's there's a subgenre name that I don't know, um I mean, because they just straight up come out and just say, are you my new master? You know? <laughs> and then, like, you can train them in obedience. You know, you of get the girls you and you can. collect them. Um, and it's like, wow, I have never seen it on the nose as strong as this. Um, and then that's what's sort of like, I gotta see, because I got an Apple TV. Um, and I think I can mirror the iOS screen and yeah. that we can use that to capture uh, the footage um, And that will work for us. So I'm gonna test it at some point and we can just go down a number of these Probably won't get enough out of any single one game um, Most of them I verified if you uninstall them all of the data is local Which is good because they all have like energy systems and they give you a bunch of energy systems when you start and then you get into the grind yeah. uh, after you know a couple hours or an hour or two of play. And that'd be perfect. You play one for a couple hours and we go try the next one for a couple hours uh, and it'll work. Um, yeah, my, my middle child is way into Love Live. Like, when they're late on a content patch, like, she is in a constant bad mood that week. Is it the older or younger? The the middle, the... Uh, um, the uh, yeah, 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 I'm sorry. Yeah. I I don't know why. Well, I know why. But you know anyway, why? Yeah. yeah. No, that's that's it's fair. Yeah. There's, there's a good gap between. Yeah. Um. Anyway. Um. The reason I ask is, um, you know, I've interviewed um, Erica Mendez, who is the English voice actress in the the Love Live anime for one of the characters, Nico. But she's also she was also big like way into the game, so it was kind of. Oh, it was kind of like a great role to play. It, it, it was fun to see her um, get into the anime. I, I don't outside think she, of... I don't think she played, you know, who she considers best girl. But it was still kind of fun. Because, right. you know, 
she was still a part of that and I'd seen her, you know, over Twitter, you know, talking about it and everything else. It was it was neat. Yeah, I'll probably also get a list for my daughters too of like which ones we should check out. Okay, so this is when you know you're having a bad day. When you've got two eliminations and 3,000 damage and you're leaving and damage done. <laughs> like that's, that's just bad luck. Like you can't do anything with it. Also, I hate um, getting revived because 90% of the time, I just die immediately because I can't do anything for right. a few seconds. Yeah, and you, they can start damaging me before you don't get your I can do back. anything. Yeah. Well, not even that. I don't get, like, action. <laughs> like, by the time I can do anything, they've already knocked off 90% oh, of my oh, health. Almost. almost. Yeah, get There's been a clip that uh, you have shared on the internet of just that ledge right there that I remembered <laughs> in that moment. I think you knocked them off and then waved. That that is my move. I will if I knock you off, I will wave even if it kills me. I will wave hello so that on the off chance um, you don't just skip past um, the 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 uh, kill view that you'll see me waving Wait. at you. I'll also wave if I get like three or more kills from an ultimate. Um, because there's a very good chance if you get like a triple kill off of something, you'll get play of the game. So I'll always wave uh, after I see like three or more kills. God, that one went quick. Yeah, that that was bad. Like I said, I had two eliminations and did the most damage out of the entire team. And I had 18 seconds of objective time, and that was good for seconds. So that generally, what that generally tells me is that uh, their team was way better than ours. I mean, they only did like 2,000 points of damage healing there, so, you know, that's, that's not great. Oh, and we had two other divas, so that probably played into it. I'm, I'm judgy of, as hell of uh, other divas and other people who played Zero in uh, Ultimate Marvel vs. <laughs> Capcom 3. Because I have, like, such an intimate knowledge, I'm like, no, you're... Now, did they do anything bonus per characters? for like events because uh, Paragon has started doing that where it's like hey right now you are in double XP as this character and that just wrecks balance of the game because everybody's fighting to play that character they don't do anything like that um, they do like weekly brawls and sometimes those are specific to a character or to uh, like uh, two or three characters like right now it's Lucy of all uh, But, you know, and, and ostensibly you're only supposed to be able to play Lucio, but there's a glitch where other people can bring in other characters. Oh, really? I haven't figured out how to do that, but it's a pain in the ass. Uh -huh. It used to be if you got killed in that way, because, you know, you can't, you're, you're not supposed to be able to die in Lucio at all. But if you got killed, it used to be you could uh, hold down square and change your hero like you could a normal match, but I think they, they they somehow managed to fix that part of it. Because, I, you know, I was going to be like... The Russian girl there is Zarya? Uh, Zarya, yeah. Zarya? I love the Zarya memes. I don't know that's any of the Zarya memes. Oh, they're all like, um, plays on butch lesbian type thing. Okay. But they're all like her at the gym or constant workout and... The, the only Overwatch meme, besides, you know, just the truth of Reaper names that I pay attention to is it, Gremlin it, Diva. Is, oh, yeah, yeah. You had that up on your stream the other day. Were you covering up, like, a thing on the screen, or you just have it up in the corner? I just have it up in the corner. Because that, you know, I just, I just wanted there to be, you know, a little Gremlin Diva, you know, choking down Doritos, asking, is this easy? So... Joint game. Arriving at watch point, Gibraltar. That's what we just played. Uh, I'm gonna leave this game. <laughs> I don't wanna play this map again. I hate that map anyway. <laughs> it's not a great map. So can you set up like a search of like I wanna play this map or you can something? do like a custom game. Um, but I've never really bothered with oh, it. Oh, but that's where you're hosting basically and waiting yeah. for people to join? Yeah. Oh, okay. 
Now, I like the systems that where you could say, I want this map. Find me a game that's this map. Or find me a game that's this mode. See, I haven't played around with it. Maybe you can do that, but... I just, I just don't like playing the same... Because I've already played it twice. There's a chance I could play that map four times in a row, and, and no thanks. Some more is kind of a fun map. I play to win. This is instead of uh, escort the payload. This is like uh, take objective A, take objective B, but objective B is usually really hard to take. Um, nice. We got some uh, Lost Vikings up. Blizzard. Blizzard property there. Yeah. Um, of course, everybody tears these things up. Oh, we're in the middle of a fucking game. I didn't even realize. Oh, uh, you dropped in. You matched yeah. in for somebody who dropped. Okay. Okay, well, I was just look, dicking around. I'm like, oh, yeah. You know. Anyway. Um. Where the hell's your team? Oh, that's me. Again, that's me forgetting about that right, little that you extra... can't cancel. Yeah, because it used to be I could just do that. Like, I just stop right on the edge and be like, oh, okay, I either got him or I didn't. And I go right back to what I was doing, but yeah. This one I still haven't, still haven't gotten used to that concept. Yeah, I lived two years in uh, Korea. I didn't get to live in the cool, awesome, hip Korea that we have today. Um, I got to live in what we called uh, Copper Korea because all the phone lines were copper and all the data rates were just crap that you could get on your dial-up. Um, uh, when I left was 98, um, and that's when the Korean won crashed. That's when they had a crash and went into like a large recession or depression. I don't know what it would actually qualified of. Um, it was crazy weird when it happened too, because, um, the currency value dropped. Right. To, to, it used to be like when we got there, uh, one dollar would get you like seven to eight hundred won, and then when it crashed, one dollar was worth three thousand, four thousand won. Um, I called it the Great Career Wide Clearance Sale, um, which was kind of crass, and you know. Uh, <laughs> but to the thing, weird thing was is that <clears throat> the exchange rates changed, but yeah. like immediately. But it takes a time for that to affect the supply pipelines and imports and everything, right? So everything was still being sold at the rates they were the day before. Like, nobody immediately changed their prices to reflect it because they hadn't had to buy new stock yet, realizing that the prices had gone up because of the exchange rate and they couldn't, you know, import the stuff anymore. Um, so it, it was really wild. I, I bought a then cutting-edge um, digital camera. Shot a whole 640 by 480. Um, wow. Yeah. 480p. I don't know if that counts as a 480p. Oh, it wasn't progressive scan? It, well, no, I don't know that 640 is 480p. I think you got to be 720 by 480 is what 480p uh, resolution that's, actually is. Um, <clears throat> that's the DVD widescreen. I, I, will, I will defer to you on that. Um, I do work at a television station. <laughs> yeah. Um... <clears throat> But yeah, it was out of that, basically, what Korea is enjoying now is their government being really smart in that recession and saying like, okay, um, you know, there's going to be a bunch of government works programs to get everybody working. And a lot of that was basically laying fiber throughout the entire country, um, which led to, of course, you know, people having fast internet at home. But it led to the internet cafe as like just a staple there and gaming cafes uh, taken off because they had this amazing bandwidth. You just were, it was a whole nation of low ping bastards. 
Um, and then, you know, they gravitated toward uh, StarCraft, obviously. Um, became huge at that, and then, you know, other things as time has gone on, but... I need to live in that Korea. Um, but I love the hell out of it. Now, I was in the military. I was in the Air Force. Um, but I did live downtown Seoul. So, between episodes, I'll think up of a good, uh, Korean story to tell. Um, and as, as we discussed before the show, I have a lot of really scary, horrible stories in my past. I could find Yes, out. you do. So, when we come back, um, Dark Tales. 